What's up you guys? It's Jeffrey Benz right here. So today I want to show you how I deal with bad trades personally. So have you been having bad trades of recent? And how have you dealt with it? Head straight in the comment section and drop how you dealt with your bad trades so we all can learn from it. So if you are wondering what bad trades are, bad trades are just simply losing streak. Here's an example of bad trade. So I've been having bad trades this week. You can notice there's stop loss there, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss right there. So this is just my weekly trades and they all ended in red. So how am I going to be dealing with this and what am I going to do? So if you are new here, consider subscribing, liking our content and even sharing with your friends and loved ones. So what we like to do here at Firepip, I'm Jeffrey Benson. All I love to do is to inspire traders through their winning times and also their losing times. So they know that it's a very fun business to be in because forest actually can be a very lonely business but we're trying as much as possible to make it fun for you out there to inspire you that yes you can be successful through trading for so if you like how that sound i want to be a part of our success success story make sure you hit the subscribe button and thank you guys for doing that so without further ado how i deal with my bad trade is simple first i have to know that it is normal for we to have bad trades in the financial market it is normal professional traders they have losing streaks so what make professional trader is not that they don't lose they lose what make professional trader is that they are able to balance out their winning trades and their losing trades so their winning trades are more than their losses that's what make expert traders so not that they don't lose at all they lose and it is only normal that whenever you are whenever you are winning you feel that you can no longer lose again just like a child who learns how to drive and he thinks that okay you cannot go on a very super speed because he has learned how to use the acceleration and how to apply the brakes and he feels that he's not going to crash that's not true there are times that things may just go with may just whipsaw and you could crash so that's what losing streaks are even if you don't crash someone may just come somewhere and bash you stuff like that so that's how losing streaks are in forex market now it is fine that you have losing streaks now, how do you deal with it number one thing that you have to understand is psychology each time you are having losing streaks, the first thing you have to do is withdraw. Withdraw from the forex market and analyze what have I been doing wrongly and how do I change what I've been doing wrongly and change it in the right perspective and put it in the right perspective. Now that has to do with you visiting your trading journal. So it is very important that you keep trading journal, like you keep record of all trades that you place. Now it is if you have not been keeping record, the easiest way to do that is to go to your MetaTrader 4, go to the history part and look at those trades that you've been taking. Now on MT5, it's even better that there is an arrow that is placed there. Each time you place trade, there's an arrow that is there. So you have to go look at it. What did I do wrong on this analysis? What happened? What decision? What made me, what made me think it's going to be a buy and actually it became sell? So these are the things that you have to do. And another thing you want to do is go back text. You have to go back to your PC go back to your trading view and go back there. Now, trading view has a function that allows you to replay candles. So you have to bring out your trading system. I have to compare with what you have been doing so far. Now, most of the time, whenever we are having losing streak, what happens most of the time is we fail to follow our trading system word for word. We probably, we are doubling down our position size. When we are supposed to risk 1%, we are risking 2% because we are no longer focusing on what we stand to lose but we are all with our risk we are no longer focusing on risk we are not focusing on what we stand to gain it is normal that's human being now you are probably because you have target you have said to yourself oh this month i want to make ten thousand dollars or i want to make x amount of money you start taking huge risk because you even want to uh, surpass that risk that uh, that uh, target you set for yourself so the best way you can keep track of that is make sure you have position sizing calculator and i'm going to include that link in the description box including position size calculator on all of your trade even if you know amount of lot size you're supposed to use still make sure you follow through the process now this is what i mean before i take any trade i'll make sure to go to my position sizing calculator first before i take any trade, i know that okay on this trade i know the amount of stop loss that i'm going to be using let's say for example i'm going to be using 20 pip stop so and i have an account of 100,000. so i'm going to put 100,000 on the account balance and i'm also going to put 
the amount of percentage that I set to risk. Because on average, I set to risk 0.5% per trade. So 0.5% and I'm going to put 20 pips stop loss. And of course, you all know I trade GBP USD. So I'm going to hit calculate. So once the calculation comes up, of course, I'm going to be using 2.5 loss size. So what do I do? I'll need to break that 2.5 loss size into three places. So if I'm risking 2.5, that simply means if the trade whip so goes against me 20 pips, I'm going to be losing $500 based on this position sizing calculator. So what I'm going to ask, am I ready? Am I willing to lose $500 today or on this particular trade? If not, I'm ready to lose 250. I'm going to split that into two. If not, I'm ready to lose half a uh, three tries of that. I'm going to split it into two, three. So that's how to do that. So each time you are having bad trades, just sit down, reanalyze your risk management. Focus, do not have, don't, do not have this FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh, I have to jump into market. I already have bad trades. I want to make up for it. Oh, so let me jump into this trade. I'm losing out. No, no, no. The money that you came into your with the market with is a risk capital. It's not your money. As long as you have decided to deposit that money with your broker, it's no longer your money. It's the money that you, you can afford to let go. I keep singing this in this channel. All right. So once you have that set in your heart, and if you lose any money, don't think, oh, it's my money. No, that money is gone. It's gone and it's gone. And if you are making bar, if you are making money, it's not that you are making back your losses. No, you're not making back your lo losses. You're just making money on the neutral ground. This is how I think. This is how I think. So don't think, oh, I brought in $10,000 and I've lost $1,000 so far. So I need to I need to bring back my $1,000 I've lost. No, you're not bringing back. Once you have that mindset, you start having this defensive approach. You are no longer thinking on a playing ground. You are thinking because you want to make back your money. You want to make back your money. You're only fighting to make back. In order to help stop that situation, you have to think in form of risk and reward. Think the same way. Whether you are losing or you are winning, think the same thing. Do not allow your wins to get to your head and do not allow your losses to get to your heart. Treat all trades the same way. It's very hard because we are human beings. We are highly emotional. We can be very fearful and we can be very greedy when things are in our favor. We can be very fearful when trades are going against us. So you have to learn as a trader, that's one of your responsibility to be able to even out when trades are good or bad, you still remain neutral, you remain the same way, all right? So that's why you have to stay away from social media, internet. Whenever you win, take it out of the internet. Whenever you lose, also take it out of the internet. Of course, maybe you have um, other reason, maybe you want like sell courses or make people know, okay, what I'm doing is actually very productive. That's the only reason why you want to post that on Instagram or on Telegram or maybe on YouTube or any other places. But aside that, what I want to advise you, if you are not a YouTuber or if you are not an influencer or trying to become one, just take your winning, winning trades or losses to yourself. Do not broadcast that because people will definitely come for you. If you have winning trades, they will definitely come for you. Probably say your loss sizes are irregular. You are not considering money management. They will always have one thing, one or two things to say, whether you are losing or you're winning. All right. So it's normal. So let me know what your losing streak story has been so far. How were you able to deal with it? How do you deal with your battery? So that's what I just want you guys to know that I also do have batteries as I am currently having them. And how I intend to go out of that is backtesting number one, backtesting my strategy, knowing what to do. And one other thing I forgot to mention is if you're having battery, that does not mean your system longer works. It still works. <laughs> it still works because market is dynamic. All what market just wants you to do then is to shift to the current trend, shift to the current pattern that is currently happening. There are two patterns that I, I, I look out for in market. I look at two structure. I either look out for continuation structure or I look out for reversal structures. Anything consolidation, I don't trade. Anything maybe range in market, I'm out of it. I don't trade. I only trade one pair. So in that case, you, you may, as you may guess, it may be very hard for me to see trade sometimes in a day. Yeah, it's fine. I'd rather stay out of the market than put in my money and be at huge risk. So those are the things that you have to like figure out and know what works for you. If range market is what works for you, stick with it. If it's a uh, training market is what works for you, stick with it. So that's what I have for you guys today. So if you like my content and you want to follow me on other social media, you can follow me on social on Instagram, you can follow me on Telegram, you can also follow me on here on YouTube, which is where I like most. So if you want to see me most of the time, it's here on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed, I repeat. Make sure you are subscribed because this is where you're gonna definitely find me most. So guys, until next video,
keep peeping and remember to keep the fire peeping and you guys should be trading not every time actually but you should be trading when you have to all right bye for now